bringing new games that you can play over the next 12 months. Today's show celebrates a diverse lineup of global <laughs> game creators of all sizes uh, okay. who bring with them unlimited potential. And they got some other Games from these it. creators will be coming to Game Pass they didn't show, every they didn't show month, anything from them. including <laughs> Naraka Blade Point, As Dust Falls, oh A Plague Tale them. Requiem, Pentiment, Persona That's 5 it. Royale, Somerville, and Scorn, just to name a few. And we start 2023 with the launches of some of the most anticipated titles from the teams at Xbox and Bethesda. Okay. Redfall, Minecraft Legends, Starfield, mm, no, no. Forza Motorsport, and more. We haven't seen this more. We haven't seen more Starfield. As we achieved record We haven't seen more Starfield. And Game Pass. With millions of people playing our games on, every Phil. single day. Show us more Game Pass. And we have you I mean, to thank give us, Show us more Starfields. That's new players joining us through Xbox Cloud Gaming <sighs> for our longest band playing on Xbox and PC. Mm. We could not have done this without you. <laughs> I gotta get myself ago, uh, some we Xbox gear. The talented studios at Bethesda Softworks to Xbox. Their teams Softworks. have been hard at work bringing their franchises to Game Pass, shipping updates to their games, and building new experiences for you to enjoy. Yeah. We know that everyone has been eager to see Starfield. <laughs> Our show today has just highlighted games. Wanna play, see it. So it's only fitting that we end it with an extended first look at one of the most anticipated games in Xbox history. You only got 10 minutes, Phil. You only got 10 minutes. You only got 10 minutes. You gotta see this, 10 minutes. Ten minutes, I swear, if I see a bunch of dev interviews, it's not going to be right. <laughs> you only got ten minutes, Phil. You only got ten minutes. Oh, of course. I gotta bust out the old famous quote. This shit looks like <laughs> older scrolls I'm walking. Oh, got the gear. I'm turning it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I finally. <laughs> they beat me up. Uh, how many seconds has it been? How many seconds has it been? Is it been more than 20 seconds? They, they beat me out. More than 20 seconds. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay. It exists. It exists. Gameplay actually exists. More gameplay exists. More real gameplay exists. Come on. Let's do more. Let's do more. We need more. I need more. It's hard to express how excited all of us at Bethesda are to be here with you today. We're so grateful you're Todd, spending get out the time. Way. We know you've get waited a way. long time to finally Push. see Don't. Starfield. Shoot. Uh, it's Don't. easily Don't. our most ambitious game ever. Don't. Like our previous Shoot. games, it's an epic role-playing game where you get to be who you want and go where you want. But like. this time you'll be exploring space. So let's jump right in. This is early in the game as you arrive on the mysterious moon of Crete. Well, let's see this. Let's see this. And I, I'm rooting for Starfield. I'm rooting for Starfield. I, I mean, I didn't really like what I was seeing with any of the Elder Scrolls, but here we go. And this is supposed to be 2023, right? Early 2023. According to Sarah Bond, this is supposed to be coming. <laughs> this is supposed to be coming within the <laughs> now and June 2023 window. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, all right. So they got a bit of a, they got the HUD here too. Uh, gauge, I guess that's for gas, maybe? No. When you get a handgun, I guess. Yeah. I guess it is pretty good. Oh, wait, no. That's not a... Oh, that's... That's oxygen. That has to be oxygen. It's CO2. You got Crete. Of course, still got the handgun. Okay, we got some creatures. Mm. All right. 
Oh, so you can switch. Nice. Oh. Okay, what are you gonna do? What? Are you gonna kill him? <laughs> I'd be scared too. <laughs> I guess they're both soft. Is he sliding? Oh. Okay, I like the HUD though. I like the HUD. I like what's going on with the HUD so far. Glad I could say that. Jeez. Well, there's a space station thing there. Oh. Creep. So, is that like a brand or something like that? Or? It would appear that pirates of the Crimson Fleet are using the facility. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Where? Right. Is that moon jumping? Okay. Finally getting inside. How many seconds is this so far? <laughs> How many seconds is this? Uh. Oh. Alright. Okay, he didn't even move. Alright. Oh wow, so... Okay. Grenades work in space? I'm not too fond of the whole smoking thing that's going on. Alright. Weapon case. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> All right. Hey, I mean, if we gotta put up with it in Mass Effect, we gotta do it here too. All right. And this guy's just standing out there. Okay. Ooh, reinforcements. Okay, I have some issues with the with AI, but that's just me. Jeez. Hmm. After some initial encounters, you're invited to join Constellation, who, in the future the game is set in, are the okay. last group of space explorers. To meet them, you'll head to the capital city of New Atlantis. I don't know about those trees, though. Those trees, I gotta see more of those. So environments, I have questions. Hmm. I do like the, I like the HUD though, I like the HUD. That's some sick watch. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. A little stuff. We're all here. Because we're committed to the biggest question of all. What's out there? Okay. These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. This is still gameplay, right? Just what they are. <laughs> what they're uh, building. Ooh. You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Huh? So, you found something? A new guy found it. I don't know. Character-wise, I don't really feel too much of the the emotion between it. Especially that guy. It was just, you found it. The man who sold me this told me that it spoke to him. Okay, that, that's a bit better. Doesn't follow the rules. Agree to work for UC system. Together, we take down these cutthroat pirates. We're not just here to shoot mm. the bad guys. We're peacekeepers who protect the people of the Free Star Collective. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, no one quits. The only way out is death. The path ahead may be dangerous. 
What? We are not stopping. Okay. Most dusties don't even make it this far. Because oh, wow. whatever lies at the end of this road will change humanity. Okay. I'll give you that. Forever. Feels like leagues above what Skyrim was doing. That gives you a look at the stories of Skyrim. That ultimately, it's not our story. It's the story you create by who you are and the choices you make. And that starts with character creation. Okay. What? It's our most flexible yet. Damn. You can customize all the elements of how you They look. got the Velcro hair! And the walk? All right. You'll pick a background that gives Jeez. you three starting skills. Okay. So it's here you spend some time as a diplomat. Having a way with words might prove useful. There are optional traits, and these come with unique advantages and disadvantages. Mm. But it's not just in how you can look, but in oh, how wow. your character plays <laughs> and develops. Got the crocodile dundee hat. The skill system combines the best space. from our previous games, and you can unlock new skills as you level up and then you rank those skills up by using them and completing challenges. And there's deep crafting systems, from running research projects with resources you find, to crafting weapon mods needed to survive. Wow. And you can build your own outpost. Right. These act right. as a home away from home for survival and resource generation. You can choose where and how to build each one. I'm and still curious about the to keep it up and the oxygen level. Like, how long but could you stay out? That's not all. You can even build your own spaceships. Spaceships. What? You can choose crew members. Wow, okay. And yes, you can completely customize the look and layout. Wow, so the, pretty much. There's loads of different modules, ship manufacturers. <laughs> the gummy ship stuff in Kingdom Hearts. I have to say, it's so cool. On crack. I just absolutely love this. Oh, wow, and you can actually get parts from different places. It's not just how the ship looks, it's how it performs. From engines to shields to That's what I like systems. about futuristic games. Because, yes. Because they have, like, these different types of companies that work on stuff. So you got, like, so-and-so robotics. And they got these machine guns. So-and-so robotics. Robotics. So-and-so robotic. Okay. Um. Can we see some star fighting? Some dog fights? Yes! This is what I wanted to see. This. Yeah, show him. Show him. Yes. Okay. Alright. What? Wow. And you can pick a crew on top of that. Okay. I'm shutting my mouth. I'm shutting my mouth. I have to shut my mouth. I'm shutting my mouth up. This, this is, this is something. This is something to work with. And they got dogfight in space. This is good. This is all we needed. Why did they take this long? Yes. <laughs> we can't wait for all of you to experience the game. Thanks again for being with us today, and thanks for all the support you've given us over the decades, especially on, on this game. Mm. It's been an okay. incredible journey for us making it, but we know that's really only the beginning, where it's when all of you play it that the real journey begins. Like I said, man, and it you may be wondering, this is some, just how big is this game? This is some Elder so Scrolls. So we thought we'd take one last moment and show you. All right. How big? 
Let's take a look at one of our planets, Jemison. Jemison? You can land in New Atlantis, but you can also land and explore anywhere on the planet. Mm. And it's not just this planet. It's all the planets in the system. Is there going to be more barren, but cities falls, per planet? To I, I hate when they don't see that. Life. And not just this system, but over a hundred systems. Mm. Over 1,000 planets, all open for you to explore. Jeez. We can't wait to see what you find. Okay. I mean, if they're all going to be like this, sure. But we only saw one faction. Okay. This is what they're saying that they're bringing out. Nice. This is all they needed to do. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone would have forgiven, like, every delay that they had if they just did this from the start. I don't understand how hard it was. Sometimes I do that shit. <laughs> wow. But I'm wondering with the crew, what else could you do with the crew? Can they, like, search with you? Do you... Do they get to come with you and interact and stuff? I never really highlighted that. But I guess that's another question for another time. So many questions. So many questions. This, this is it. This is all we needed. 2023! <laughs> so, 2023, June 2023. <laughs> Between that window, <laughs> according to Sarah Bond. Oof. Man, I I'm excited. I'm excited. It looks way better than half of the stuff that Bethesda has done with this Elder Scrolls team. Oh, they gotta show Halo again. 